Good evening, everybody. It's about 4.30 p.m. on Wednesday, December 21st, 2022. There's some pretty good grass here. Look at that. So this Indian grass is all dried out now. I don't know if the cows are going to eat that at all, but we do have lots of it. Hey, sheep. You want to smell my glove? <laughs> I smell like diesel right now. I use the neighbor's tractor to unload um, the feed. We got 1,700 pounds of feed. We filled the bag all the way up. And I don't know if I'm going to feed them today. Look at that. She's looking pretty good there. I've just been running around all day today. See, we got our, oh yeah, we filed to get our business license with the city so we could start selling um, stuff from a food truck. We got permission from the location. Uh, when I open up, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Probably, assuming we get the permits and we pass the inspection and everything quickly, we could be selling food. Uh, like January, let's see, probably January 7th or 8th or something like that. First or second week of January. Assuming all goes well. I don't know if it will or not. We have to travel up to Idaho in early January. So the kids are going to watch the land. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see, we'll see. So we're getting close to the opening. That'd be an amazing achievement in my life, opening a, a food trailer, you know. Never done anything like that before. I don't think any of my relatives have. You know. Are you going to get zapped by your horn? Is that what's going on there? Anyway, this grass looks pretty good. There's some uh, lighter patches here. Um, this, I believe, is old uh, liver seed. I forget what it's called. Liver seed grass. Panic liver seed, that's right. And uh, it's mixed into some other things. There's some flowers in here too. Uh, good news, it looks like after the cold snap that's coming in a few days, where it's gonna get really cold, it's gonna get warm again. It's gonna get back to the 60s. So by Sunday, on Christmas day, we should be back to 60s, which is probably disappointing for a lot of kids. They want a white Christmas. Um, but is good news for the cows, because they would like to eat grass. What was that? Blue just attacked that cow. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the grass here is very thick. It's very nice. You know, there's an old patty here. It's just dirt now. So, there's these weeds. Jennifer was saying this looks like a weed that in uh, Korea they would eat. And that could be one of the like lettuce type leaves that you can eat. But I think the cows will get down. I, I haven't really seen them in pastures they've been to. It's like there's a bunch here, but I don't really see any here. But I think the cows are eating them. Anyway, it's looking really good. I don't know what this is, but it's everywhere and it's getting bigger. I don't know what that is. When it gets bigger, I'll, I'll identify it. But Oh, here's another old patty. Probably a few months old. It's just dirt. Dirt. Here's another old patty. Dirt. <laughs> Here's another one too. Just like a layer of paper on top of dirt. Here's some, uh, now the, the sheep are going to go for this. They like this stuff. But this is actually a bigger bush than I've, I've seen before in my pasture. Um, this kind of thorny bush, these berry bushes, they uh, like acidic soil. And I did have a problem with acidity in my soil, so I did put down a, a bunch of uh, lime, right? The recommended amount of lime. This stuff here, this is from the rain. That's just uh, organic matter that washed away in the rain. So that's going to make some tremendously good mulch. I don't know if it's going to change the acidity of the soil or not. But I imagine the sheep at some point are going to take that apart. 
Yeah, here, the sheep's eating those, those leafy greens. She's having her salad. She's, she's gonna eat it down to the root. Go for it. Eat the whole thing. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go now. Take care, bye-bye.